Graphing inequalities is just like graphing regular lines. You need an input and an output. Now I know the less than symbol throws people off, but let's for a split second imagine we just used f of x instead of y, we used the equal sign, and we put 2x plus 1, like we would graph normal graphs. Pick an input. Any input you want, say I want my input to be 0. I'd be like, fine. 2 times 0 plus 1 is 0 plus 1, which is just 1. So when you use the input of 0, you get 1 as an output. That's just a fancy way of saying the coordinate 0, 1. 0, 1 is right here. All right. Again, use this same idea of input and output to find another coordinate. I want my input now to be the number 1. So instead of x, we'll use 1. So 2 times 1 plus 1 is the same thing as 2 plus 1, which is the same thing as 3. So when you use the input of 1 into the function, you get 3 as an output. Again, that's just a really fancy way of saying 1 comma 3. Well, 1 comma 3 is right here. Once you've started putting points and you know you can connect them, that's when we need to come back to the original function here. Now this tells us, this less than symbol, that when we connect the lines, that we're connecting them and we're going to make them dotted. It's not going to be a solid line like it used to be. I'll explain why in one sec. Okay, there we go. Nice dotted line. Don't forget your arrow is on top. Okay, now the reason it's a dotted line is because this doesn't have the equal to symbol underneath. When it has that, that's when it's a solid line. Now, the next thing about it graphing inequalities is that there's shading. You're either going to shade above the line or below the line. Now, the technique I have for this is you use, look at the less than symbol. That's what we have right now. Well, I live in Long Beach, so I use the less than symbol to make the letter L. I put the B in, and this helps remind me that I shade below. So all this region below the dotted line gets shaded. Now make your shading nice and neat. There's no reason for you to have really messy shades. A highlighter is the best way to shade graphs. And here you go, just nice, clean. Now, if you don't have a highlighter, you can use the side of your pencil. The pencil will just be a little lighter than this. But no matter what, when you have a nice, clean graph, it's very easy to see your answer. Dotted line, shade, everything's beautiful. Well, this is how you graph an inequality.